<laughs> Eat your heart out, haters. For all the people who said that the tickets would not sell and no one would want to buy them. And SoFlo TV, you are going to be the only person in that stadium because I would never pay so much money to go and see Vibes Cartel or any artist out of Jamaica for that matter. Due to the overwhelming high volume orders for Vibes Cartel's Freedom Street concert tickets, the website experienced a severe crash seconds after it went live at 3 a.m. Saturday morning. The technicians are now working assiduously to resolve this issue and assured us this will be sorted in very short order. We apologize for any inconvenience this may have caused. <laughs> Officially from Down Sound Records, Scatabarel just posted this. <laughs> Yo, I'm trolling this morning. Me just wake up. Me I them read out everything. I seriously was asleep. But check it, right? For all the people who said that this is not gonna sell and uh, all the other stuff, y'all see what's happening, man. I told you what's gonna happen. See, what people don't know or recognize is this, right? This is not about... Um, this ain't about a bag of poor people out of Jamaica who can't afford shoes to put on their feet, much less to go to their a concert. This is not that type of party, friend. You understand? It's not that type of party. We're talking about Vibes Cartel, an international superstar. This means his fan base. I mean, like when I look for me, I'm just wake up. Vibes Cartel's fan base spans the globe. Okay, right now airport are gonna get busy because people are buying tickets already. People are coming. He has a large fan base in Canada, large fan base in the UK, large fan base in the US. Just those three alone, and I haven't mentioned other places yet, just those three alone are connected to Jamaica, as in they have expatriates, people who are Jamaican by background or association who live in these countries, but they come to Jamaica at the end of the year to celebrate Christmas, see the family, cause that's what time typically people get holiday time and time off from work, etc. So people are flying from foreign anyways. So this is not about all the average Jamaican who don't make this much money per week, can't even afford one ticket. That That's not the case. So these tickets are gonna be sold out. And I predicted this, what did I say? I said, I predict that the tickets are going to be sold out in short order. Look what happened. As soon as they went live, so many people tried to get on because the stadium only holds 35,000 people, people, right? So if you have 100,000 people out there trying to get a ticket at the same time and the stadium only holds 35,000 people, that tells you says only a certain amount of tickets that could be sold, right? Right, so if the ticket them sell off, at max capacity that mean you ain't getting in you are not getting in and I think just like cartel said there will be the same amount of people inside as outside or even more is gonna be that kind of an affair y'all must not for y'all must have forgot this is Jamaica okay and when time Jamaica comes to end of year celebration christmas grand market ringing in the new year it's a super festive season in jamaica regardless right so i want people were they are foreign too long or oh, no they are foreign that look down upon jamaican people like they are the poorest of the poor and them can't afford nothing so this every price them put up is too expensive what if, i see people leaving comments like what about the poor jamaicans who their children won't have anything to go to school in the morning and i know them this is a tattoo that's not for them this is a this is a concert and experience when chris brown was coming to jamaica chris brown didn't plan his concert and say what about the poor jamaicans who won't be able to afford the 1.5 million dollar skybox them they 
<laughs> they, they, they planned it and had the $1.5 million skybox them and they sold out. You know how I know they sold out? I went to go look. Kami said, mm, let me see who's buying these or if they're even going to sell. And I didn't plan to go. And when I went, they were all done. It says no more available, all sold out. So again, the prices for the Vibes Cartel concert, they are super fair. Why? Because the bleachers is $125. Center stage is like the most expensive next to the $10,000 pods. And the $10,000 pods are for eight people and come with six premium bottles. You know how much ton up you have a ton up of six bottles and you have a party of eight and you have your own hostess and you have security and you can, man, listen, it's well worth it. Now, I hear some people, right? Oh, I would prefer to use my money to give it to some kids or to some people who are really struggling financially. And hear me out. As long as I've known Jamaicans, I've known Jamaicans to support white people um, who are not Jamaicans. Because we have white Jamaicans, you know. But we are talking about the one them who are not Jamaicans. So on the buy your Benz, German, your Bima, German, your Audi, German, whatever other kind of cars and stuff you buy and then brag about. Holy heap money for them there. You brag about your clothes all the time. Your Louis, your Fendi, your, your, your Versace, your whatever, your Hermes, your Balenciaga, your whatever the names are. None of those are Jamaican. Those are Caucasian foreign people who really don't care about you like that. And you not only spend a lot of money, somehow on a brag, and say, Cho, I did not call for no I wear, but me I wear the real thing. You see my shoes? 3500 US for my shoes. Y'all always been like that. And nobody ever said then, damn, you pay 3500 for some shoes? Brother, you know, it's a picnic day at school, a Jamaica where can't afford books, basic books. Them can't pay them school fee. Them need a new pair of shoes for go back to school. Nobody is concerned then until it's somebody you don't like or until it's time to spend money with your own people. Then you start talking about how much for the ticket them a Vibes Cartel concert? Them ticket they're too much. You know say poor people need help. You know say pick they need book for school. You know say the road them want to fix. You know, say some people hungry and have no food for eat. Man, you know, move in a ass with that, man. Move with that. Every time it's time to spend. And this is a crab in a barrel mentality that I've always talked about amongst our people. When them go other people's stores, and when we say other people, I'm talking about people outside of us. Even people outside of black. When them go other people's stores, whether it's online or in person, them not worry about price. They go knowing it's going to be expensive, ready to pay, and then go brag about what they bought for expensive stuff. But when it comes to their own people, Lord God, the price of it so high, come down after the price a little bit now. You know, why I charge so much for? It's as if we always think that foreigners are worth way more than our own people are worth. I mean, I support that at all. What this concert is doing and is going to do is it's going to force Jamaica government to overhaul that stadium because our national stadium is modern times now. Our national stadium look bad. It need an overhaul, right? So bring our national stadium up because a whole heap of foreigners are going to come in to the Vibes Cartel concert and see the national stadium and be like, damn, this Jamaica's national stadium, they could do better than this. So it's going to force the government to do a facelift, fix up the national stadium. Not only that, a whole heap of people are going to make money this day, this concert that's coming up. You see all the vendors them. May I tell you, say, get ready, clean up yourself, make sure you look good. Nobody come out the road and you there by the jerk drum and sell food and mouth bridle up on your mouth and you look like you're red out and you don't know where you're there and you look crony.
clean up on yourself, nice, beautiful Jamaican people, and come out with it. your good things, them come sell. Soup, man, out there. The snacks, them out there. You know, may I say, all the peanut, man, everybody out there. I make sure, say, you line up and get ready because the people are going to be there. The drinks, man, them keep the cold bottle of water, them come in, and whatever else you have for yourself, you drink. Right out that stadium, that's all. I guarantee you, you're going to make a whole lot of money that time. May I shake the camera and it's getting fuzzy because it's trying to adjust, so work with me. But just wake up. Just, just wake up. I may just say that the website crashed. <laughs> at 3 a.m. in the morning. That means that a uncle few people get them ticket. People get them ticket. Holy pa people get them ticket. And then the website crashed because it couldn't handle the rush. Told you it was gonna happen. And it's happening. So keep trying. For the people who reach out to me, because we're trying to get the 10,000 US dollar pods and we're doing it with eight people, which means four couples. I have an overwhelming amount of people in my inbox right now, ready to go. So I'm gonna sit down right now, reach out to some of them, collect some phone number, choose who I want to do this with. Cause I don't want no crony people around me. I don't want no people around me that carry no bad vibes and bad energy. And I don't want no people around me who don't know how to have fun and who are super judgmental. When me pick up a bottle and turn it on my head, I don't want nobody to look at me and talk about, Oh my God, so I didn't know you drank. Oh my, he was drunk or he was tipsy. I don't mean, want none of that. A party, we're going to party tonight, yeah. And we're gonna bring in the new year in style and fashion and all that. So, I will choose who I want to. I'm gonna look on them profile, all them thing there, get a, a, a sense of who I'm gonna deal with. And then I will reach out to you. I will reach out to y'all soon. We'll get the money together and we go purchase our pod and, you know, go do it up in Jamaica. All right? For the people them who reached out and I didn't choose you, just no hard feelings. We can only have eight people. You know how it go. Gather up your eight people though and get you a part two and then see you there. All right? I'm out. Peace. All right, my Jamaican people, let's take a break from our scheduled program here and get into this promo of a wonderful product from a company called Soninka Limited. Soninka Limited Solar Lighting, they have interior lighting available, roof solar panels available, extra bright street lights like you're seeing in this video clip available you can use these lights to light up your streets and avenues lanes and corners your backyard your farm your front yard any which part need lighting and this is all powered by god's sun solar no man solar you don't have a jps built to play pay and they are available island wide so check it Intelligent lighting control, dimmable remote controlled, rechargeable on cloudy days. Listen, hook up, link up with Soninka right now. Oh, and tell them SoFlow TV sent you and get a nice discount. And get yourself out of the darkness and into the light. Back to our regular scheduled program at hand. Peace.